the heated razor. You know, it's been a long time since I've reviewed this luxury cartridge razor from the boys in blue, the big boys. Yes, the Gillette heated razor is up next. <laughs> geek out here. Here's the base, the charging base for the heated razor. It's really nice. It's nice and hefty. Good weight to it. And it's magnetized. So you can keep that going, keep the device charged up. Again, this is a luxury shave. When it was released, it was about $200. Now you can probably get them for about 100 sometimes on sale for a little bit less. I'll leave a link in the description so you can pick one up if you're interested. Flex disc technology, which means you're swiveling left and right. It's also pivoting. You've got five blades of fun, loop strip up top, controlling rubber guide at the bottom, the patented heated bar. It's just wonderful. It's nice and hefty. It's got a nice rubber grip on the back side. It's got the beautiful... Gillette Labs logo. This was the premier Gillette Labs razor. Now, expensive, is it gimmicky? I don't know. But heat does help soften hair, get your skin conditioned and ready for a shave. So having that 120 degree Fahrenheit uh, heat with every stroke is just a nice touch. It's a, it's a luxury feel guys uh, just one thing before i get going you've got this new gillette labs or newer gillette labs exfoliating razor which has the same sort of form factor in fact these blades are interchangeable it's really only the bar itself that stays around and i'll pull this off so you can see that so the bar the heated bar stays behind the cart is the same with a little bit of an update, more of a premium finish on the lube bar and the uh, and the rubber guide here. But what am I waiting for? Let's get right into the shave. It is a luxury shave, so I'm going to use some luxury products. This is my favorite artisan soap right now, guys, and probably will be for a long, long time. Elysian. Wonderful pine and pepper, just an awesome scent. Smells heavenly, guys. Just a nice, nice, nice product. Shannon, the owner and founder of Elysian, super nice, super smart. Comes with an accompanying pine and pepper aftershave splash, which I love. And I have my favorite synthetic brush, filament. And one of my favorite companies, Pacific Shaving Company, makes this natural cork handle. Synthetic badger brush, premium synthetic. What I love about this brush, guys, and it's limited, guys. So if you can get one, I'll leave a link to this. If you can pick one up, get it now. But what's great about it, the cork is soft and springy, but it's firm at the core. So it's going to be durable. It'll last you. For a long time but it's light so you have those older hands right like i do you know a, a, a hard you know a hard handle is a little little damaging to my dainty hands so this floats also in water which is very nice and it's just very light the knot here is a perfect diameter in my opinion for applying lather so again Let's get started. I made you wait long enough. Let's get into the shave. So even though I'm using the heated razor, you want to prep your skin for the shave. So I'm steaming up with a face cloth and near hot water. Now you don't want to go too hot. You don't want to damage your skin. But you really want to Get some of that steam up into the pores. I'm running about uh, about 
three or four days worth of growth. Again, we'll put a little bit more near hot water. Best way to shave is to either shave in the shower, nice warm shower, or just after you get out of a nice warm shower. But tonight, I've got my sweatshirt on, I'm feeling comfy. I'm gonna rock it this way. All right. Let's go with a little near hot water on this brush and into this tan of this luscious pine and pepper from Elysian soap. About 10 to 15 seconds in that in that plastic tin. And I'll go right on to the face and applaud this luscious cream, this lather. It's awesome. Swirl that in, guys, into the whiskers. It's got a hauntingly delightful smell. I wish we had smell o vision Remember back in the day, Willy Wonka, smell o vision Was that from Willy Wonka? Anyway, lather is beautiful, creamy, luxurious. This is a luxury shave. All right, heated razor, press it once. And it's blinking. When it stops blinking, it's at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like a modern marvel of technology. If you don't like the heat, you hold. And it goes to more of an amber hue. That is 110 degrees Fahrenheit. I like the heat, so I'll go back to 120 degrees. And let's get the shave started. All right, I'm shaving with the grain of the hair on my face. So I'll be shaving down. Oh, and the heat with every stroke, guys. It just, it just elevates your shave. Takes an already great product and just gives it a boost. And it's just whipping through. that four day stubble. All right, let's come over here. Okay, I'm stuck. Oh, it just feels heavenly, guys. Pine and pepper. Ah, oh, yeah, this is a great shave. Now you can You can sort of mimic that heated bar experience with a DE razor. If you go with hot, hot water to rinse between uh, strokes, but This heated bar razor, it's every stroke. Consistent heat that feels just divine. And that's the first pass in the books. Now I'll apply some more near hot water. Go back to that initial brush, that grab of lather, and I'll work it into 
now a whiskerless face. Oh, it feels so good, guys. Shannon, you did a great job with this soap. Can't wait to try more of your products. And I can't wait to redo that interview, that Zoom call that we did that kind of got killed by my Wi-Fi. Just bad Wi-Fi. Pick up the heated razor. I put it in the charger while whilst I did that. I'm going to go with second pass and probably my final pass for today. I'm going to do a cross grain pass. So nice whisper strokes. Oh, yeah. Now with the cartridge razor multi-blade. There's no real need to do a three pass system. Since you're sort of doing a multiple pass every time, right? You have multiple blades. Less is more. But I tell you, I really, I just enjoy the shave so much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just take your time with this. Let the weight of the device do all the work. Very, very nice, guys. All right. I'll turn that off. Now what I'm going to do is I'll rinse off with cool water, get ready for the aftershave, and we'll get out of here. I like to clean up with cool water. Helps close the pores. It's really the way I learned how to shave. I have a lot of viewers tell me to try to switch it up, shave with cool water. But you do what works for you, guys. You do what works for you and you do what you enjoy. Because that's what this is all about. A relaxing calming, wonderful shave. And I get to share it with some wonderful people like you. Kudos again to my friends at Elysian Soap Shop. The Elysian, Elysian Soap Shop, Shannon and your team. Ah. Just amazing. Pine and pepper with its distinctive gold cap. Many of these fragrances, many of the scents are based on food, which you can't go wrong with, right? Right? Again, that Pacific Shaving Natural Cork Handle Brush. Get them while they still are available. They're probably close to running out. Now we're going to go with the Pine and Pepper aftershave from Legion and the combo soap and aftershave to me is great because you're just extending that profile that scent profile <sighs> 
you have it lingering on your your skin, on your essence for hours to come. This is just a wonderful, wonderful product. And I've had a good shave. Woof. All right, guys. Well, as usual, I want to thank you for watching. You know what? I got to pull this heated razor out more often and do more shaves with it. If you've enjoyed this video, if you have any questions about the Gillette Labs heated razor, leave a comment below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Come back, enjoy, and I will see you clowns next time. But in the meantime, you know what to do. <laughs> Keep pushing! Play! Now roll the music! <laughs>